If you think deleting an app removes all threats from your Android device, think again. In 2025, spyware has reached a terrifying new level of stealth. These are not your average spy apps. They're silent, persistent, and almost impossible to detect. Today, I'm revealing the top 10 most dangerous persistent Android spyware in 2025, with their full capabilities and how they silently control millions of devices. Don't skip a second, missing even one name could leave you exposed. Now, let's get started. SpyMax V4 is the evolution of the notorious SpyNote rat, and it's a nightmare for privacy. This advanced remote access Trojan can record calls, capture keystrokes, stream audio live from your mic, and control your camera without your knowledge. What makes SpyMax V4 especially terrifying is its persistence. Once installed, it hides deep within system folders and automatically reinstalls itself after a reboot or even a factory reset, especially on rooted devices. It can steal credentials, track GPS, access SMS, and even spoof messages. Hackers use it to spy on victims in real time, and it doesn't need root for basic access. If your phone suddenly slows down or drains battery faster than usual, this might be the silent stalker behind it. The dangerous second persistent Android spyware is XN Spy, a so-called parental control app that's anything but innocent. While marketed for monitoring children, this commercial spyware has been used by employers, abusers, and cybercriminals. It runs stealthily in the background and gives full access to call logs, real-time GPS, emails, WhatsApp, and Facebook chats, and multimedia files. XNS Spy also records ambient sounds, captures screen activity, and offers a feature called Watch List Alerts that notifies attackers when specific words, contacts, or locations are triggered. Its persistence lies in its deep system integration. Once active, it automatically re-enables itself even after reboot and is extremely hard to detect without a full forensic scan. Next up, let's talk about the spyware that honestly even governments fear, Pegasus. So, Pegasus was originally built by the NSO group, and on Android, it uses these zero-click exploits, that means it can infect your phone without you even clicking anything, not even a link. Once it gets inside, Pegasus bypasses encryption, grabs your signal, telegram and WhatsApp chats, turns on your camera and mic, and can even self-destruct so it avoids being detected. And here's the kicker. Pegasus doesn't need root, it just, you know, silently elevates its privileges through kernel exploits. That's why it's become, well, a favorite tool for government surveillance agencies around the world. But the worst part, even if you do a factory reset, Pegasus might not be completely gone if your device's firmware has already been compromised. Gravity Rat, which started out on Windows, has now gone mobile and honestly its Android variant is more advanced than ever. It hides itself in fake versions of popular apps, like messaging or file sharing platforms. Once you install it, Gravity Rat grabs permissions to read your contacts, access your location, record calls, and steal documents. This spyware also connects to remote servers to upload all that stolen data, and get this, it can update itself with new capabilities. What makes it really persistent is how it injects itself into system services and hides behind legit app processes, making it almost invisible to antivirus tools. So, if you sideload APKs from unofficial sources, you could already be infected. Cerberus Rat isn't just banking malware anymore, it's full-blown spyware as of 2025. It was originally built to steal two-factor authentication codes, but now Cerberus acts as a total surveillance tool. It uses Android's accessibility services to log your keystrokes, read notifications, watch your screen activity, and even simulate touches. Cerberus hides as system apps and uses device admin privileges to block any attempts to uninstall it. And even if you perform a reset, it can reinfect your device if it was granted persistent permissions. Attackers use Cerberus to run phishing attacks, intercept one-time passwords, and manipulate banking apps in real time. So, Droidjack is still going strong in 2025, and honestly it's one of the most widely used Android rats you'll find on the dark web. With this tool, attackers can gain remote control of your phone. That means they can send SMS messages, record your audio, access all your files, and even use your live camera feed. Droidjack is pretty clever too. 
it usually disguises itself as apps like Instagram mods, YouTube clones, or some random utility app. Once it's on your device, it hides under different names and keeps replicating to make sure it sticks around. And, uh, it can even survive basic malware scans thanks to its code obfuscation and those dynamic payloads it uses. FinSpy, which some folks also call FinFisher, is basically the go-to spyware for law enforcement and, well, some authoritarian regimes. It's got some wild capabilities, like intercepting encrypted messages, recording VIP calls, logging your keystrokes, and stealing files in real time. It works under a rootkit-like layer and, believe it or not, some versions actually get installed through malicious firmware updates or even telecom-level exploits. FinSpy has this super stealthy mode that disables any visual trace in your app drawer or task manager, so you won't even know it's there. It updates itself, using encrypted C2 channels, and can resist most removal methods out there. It's definitely expensive. But yeah, it's highly effective. Anubis was once a banking trojan but in 2025 it's fully equipped as spyware too. It uses key logging, GPS tracking, app usage monitoring, voice recording and real-time screen streaming to spy on victims. Anubis spreads through infected links, cracked apps and fake updates. It tricks users into enabling accessibility services and then takes over control. Its persistence is tied to auto-start mechanisms, hidden payloads, and device admin privileges that lock the user out from removing it. Hornbill is a surveillance spyware created by an APT group targeting high-value individuals. It can extract call history, monitor social apps, log keystrokes, and record environmental audio. What makes Hornbill special is its ability to hide inside modified system services. It doesn't need a visible icon or notification, and it only uploads data when on Wi-Fi or charger to avoid suspicion. It can survive firmware upgrades and reinstall itself silently using secondary payloads. Finally, Reptilicus, a commercially sold spyware that refuses to die. It promises parents and employers full monitoring, but in the wrong hands it's a surveillance monster. It accesses GPS, SMS, calls, mic and camera, and can even block antivirus apps from running. Reptilicus is known for self-reinstalling if removed, and uses multiple services to ensure its persistence. It can disguise itself as system updates or admin apps. The worst part? It runs silently, doesn't appear in recent tasks, and can even send fake shutdown screens to make users think the phone is off. These spyware tools aren't just dangerous, they're nearly unstoppable once installed. In 2025, the battle between security and surveillance is more intense than ever. To stay safe, avoid sideloading apps, regularly check permissions, and use strong security tools, but even that may not be enough. If you found this video helpful or eye-opening, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss updates on threats like these. And remember, the real danger is what you can't see. See you in the next video.